This is called the Wilberforce pendulum. You can tune the linear motion of the spring to match the frequency of rotation. And if you do it just right, then the energy of the pendulum can alternate between being stored as linear momentum bobbing up and down or rotational momentum spinning. So when it has its maximum spinning rate, it doesn't bob up and down at all. And when it has its maximum bobbing amplitude, then the weight doesn't spin at all. And it'll go back and forth like this for a long time. Now the reason this is happening is because the resonant frequency of that translation oscillation just equals the square root of the spring constant divided by its mass. But then also the resonant frequency of spinning is equal to the square root of the torsion constant divided by the moment of inertia of the rotating body which changes depending on where you put these weights. So what's interesting is you can tune the moment of inertia to just about match the frequency of rotation to match the frequency of translational motion. Say that five times fast.